I'm co-host James Ash. And I'm co-host Phil Scaife. Welcome to The Business Lockdown. Okay, so on today's show, we've got a good friend of mine, Andrew Cousins. Um, we go back a few years. Um, and that's one of the things about the situation we're going through. I think we're all connecting and reaching out to people who have maybe lost touch with. So Andrew and I first met probably about five years ago. Um, it's helped me many times over the years in get me out of situations, help me rethink through, uh, come up with new strategies, mentoring uh, on uh, me all, uh, along the way. Um, so Andrew coaches many businesses, many individuals, He's got a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of resources, and a wealth of experience. So, Andrew, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for inviting me. So, it's great to have you here. And so, I guess let's, let's try and start at, at a beginning point. Um, where have you, what's your journey looked like up to, uh, up to, up to recently? Where did, where did you start and, and where have you got to kind of thing? Well, in my, in my working life, I started sort of traditionally, I'm a qualified chartered accountant, worked in the city and uh, in, in, in New Yorkshire, and then worked in Adidas for several years. Um, we were young, mid-20s. I was a commercial accountant, so I got a lot of good experience around currencies and margins and stuff. And then uh, got into a management buyout of a car wholesale accessory business in Bradford in the last major recession. Um, when interest rates went to 16%, it went up to two points in a day. Uh, we borrowed half a million and invested 120 grand of personal money and everything that could go wrong did go wrong. So that's wow. where I got my real lesson in life, not really from my qualifications. 50 staff, 15,000 stock lines and a 30,000 square foot tin shed on the Euroway estate in Bradford. That's where I learned about life. <laughs> and it was a story of... <laughs> Book, bookkeeper to boardroom and um, eventually I became MD and major shareholder and turned it round so I'm used to this sort of situation and sold it for a million cash three years later so hang in there guys and get some good people around you <laughs> and then uh, went into a dot com was part of a team in a dot com and raised 30 million uh, with no sales uh, and we were offered 19 million on an internet software security back in 2000. And I went on this roller coaster. So for three days on paper, I was worth 12 million. Uh, but that was a high speed train. Stock went from 10 to $60 and down to one cent. And I was promoted to the board to uh, go and find out where all the cash had gone. Back then, there was a phrase called cash burn. It was like a badge of honor of how much cash you were burning. And uh, the business had lost 23 million. I went and did a report. The CEO got fired and I was promoted onto the board to, to land it safely. So uh, going down to the city and explaining a 23 million loss is character building. Wow. So I've been, the, I've been to the top of the mountain to the bottom, but I've also been a pioneer. So a buyout, buyout pioneer. And uh, I came across action coaching, business coaching in 2003. So I love the idea. It's Australian, so it's about getting on and doing stuff. I played county hockey for Yorkshire and Kent. I love teams. I love the opportunity to be pioneering a new industry. And it was felt back then it's a passing fad. It'll never work. Well, now uh, Action Coach in the UK, is it's the third biggest franchise, most, most successful franchise, and there's 250 coaches. And the banks, businesses that get coached generally do a lot better. So I really recommend anybody out there listening, get advisors around you. Get, get advisors, whoever they may be, but it's you guys, the network, a coach. Don't do, don't do this on your own. There's an old saying, you can go fast, fast on your own, but further together. So get help. And it's great to work with you guys. These two energetic guys from Beverly, there's something in the water. <laughs> so I'm going to just calm it down slightly. But we're, we're dealing in facts. So, uh, no, please. Don't. We, we, we love energy. So um, yeah, never, never yeah. calm it down. Now, we're, we're told as children far too often to, um, to just quiet it down, to calm it down. And, you know, um, I don't think yeah. now is the time to be, um, to be silent or um, to be reserved under these, uh, under these um, uncertain times that we find ourselves in. Um, 
You spoke about Action Coach there, Andrew. I've, I've come across Action Coach. I think I did, I did like um, uh, an intro day once. And, um, and it's, a, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a franchise. I mean, are they nationwide? Are they, are they super accessible for people? <clears throat> yeah, there's Action Coaches pretty much in every major town in the country now. I think we're up to 250 in the UK. Um, and it started, I was the, I'm the longest serving coach active in 2003. And it works because what we do works and it's based on generalized principles of how to grow and scale a business. Uh, and two parts to that is what to do in terms of your marketing, sales, finance, people, systems, leadership. Uh, but it's also who you need to become. So, so a typical small business would have a, a dream to create of a value, let's say, of a million pounds. So say a million pound value was your, your 100% goal. Well, we'd score that, break that down into two sections. Out of 10, your identity today, out of 10, in the context of a million pound, where is it? And it's usually about a three out of 10. And then what are you doing? Multiply that by what you're doing out of 10. It's usually about a five. So when I start coaching people, they're usually at about 15% who they need to be and, and doing what they need to do to, to create a million value. And the fact I did that when I was 33 before coaching means that I've got a lot of depth in the way I coach people and I'm not just a textbook hero. And uh, I think the action coach is built and is changing and modifying all the time because it's built up by un entrepreneurs. The, the whole thing's down to the personal relationship with the coach. So it's a great system, but you've got to find that chemistry and you never know till you meet and have a chat. Well, it surely must be, you know, when you go back to school days, I know personally speaking that I excelled if I connected and, and, and were engaged. It's certainly with AD, someone with ADHD, um, you know, I needed to be engaged and not every teacher were, was up to the task on that. And um, God bless them. Um, but, um, you know, it, yeah. we are people, you know, it's about connecting with the right person, isn't it? And um, that I'm, actually, I'm sure it's no different in, in coaching. What... Tell us how you find the current environment, Andrew. What's you know what are you what are you what you're finding in your in your local community, in your business community, and on a, a broader scale as well. Yes, well, I'm on conference calls every morning with 200 coaches from around the UK. So the initial reaction was a shock um, to to the whole situation, and people were subconsciously um, clients, businesses all over the country going that means zero sales and all these costs, I'm going to go bust. That was the initial. But then the government, I think the government have done a, a good job in communicating. And um, I'd be happy to do for you guys a, a webinar and I've got a, a 11 steps on how to deal with this. Um, the government moved into support and, and what we're doing now is you've got to move people out of emotion and let's look at the facts. So number one tip is to get yourselves a cap life forecast I can let your members have a free one uh, they can call me up anytime for talking through dealing your reality in your, your business and your personal life and then let's make decisions on that um, and get advice because there's a lot of help coming down the line on VAT on uh, tax on deferrals of, of loan repayments so speaking to a client this morning has had a three-month uh, loan capital repayment from Funding Circle, for example. Um, so there is a lot of cash help coming. And what's also happened, um, I've got a five-step model now that, that looks at, uh, moves you through from lockdown uh, to training, to warming up, to sprint, to, to compete and grow. So we're getting people to look forward based on what skills have we actually got in our business. So, for example, in the South, um, there's a story from one of the coaches, um, uh, an events company, 120 salespeople, young on entrepreneur running it, and he managed to outsource his whole sales team to online selling of training for teachers who are at home. So they subcontracted the whole of the sales team. Um, we've got an, al another client, an aluminium business, thinking, oh, this is all over. But their supplies coming out of China, which is now coming back on stream. And so their competitors are getting things out of Europe, out of Germany and France. So they've got a massive competitive advantage. There's an electrical engineering business, small one, who've been putting off doing an extension for five years. He's got his whole team 
for five weeks building this extension to their business. So once you get, what can you do? So the fear is that, that, that change curve, you know, that shock, denial, anger, uh, and depression, that's, that's natural. But get around people, get into these communities that can help you get a different perspective, give it a different meaning. What can we do? So I, I think that's, there is a shift now to what, what can we do? And an amazing sense of people coming together and helping each other for free. It's amazing. Folk are wanting to do barter deals. How can I help you? But we're going to come out of this different. We're going to come out. There's a fantastic opportunity to get your system sorted out, your marketing plan, get all the learning you've been meaning to do, especially get your digital learning. So I've got eight products I can offer to your people for free, digital training, sort out your chart of accounts, your financial report, and get these things done. Get yourself fit for purpose. Sadly, some will go bust, but that, what that will mean is a lot of opportunity for acquisitions in the future. So businesses fail through lack of knowledge. The, the, I clu- include myself. I'm now starting to do webinars and everything. I'm having to learn how to do this. There's levels we'll, of we'll, learning. We'll, we'll, we'll have you on board. We'll, I'm, I'm already thinking, you know, we'll, we've got to have you on our, um, on our Facebook group and, uh, and do a live webinar. I'm already, that, that, we'd love to have you on. That'd be amazing, Andrew. Great. Well, I, I'm going through the, 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 the four levels of learning. I teach my, my clients so I, so I know I'm not very good at webinars. <laughs> So you go that lovely um, unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know. That's quite a nice place to be. But then you become yeah. a, a, aware you're not good at it. <laughs> then, you, then you're consciously incompetent. <laughs> so, but then you, so people out there need to learn about finance and learn about marketing. Get the knowledge. Get the knowledge now in this time. And then you become consciously competent. It's a bit awkward. But then you become unconsciously competent. So I'm going through that myself. But um, t- to move you through that learning cycle, get hold of a coach, get hold of somebody who can help you. One of the best things about action coaches is our, re- our, our access to real examples of what's actually happening today. So I'm able to put material out most days to help people, practical stuff that works, not some theory. And I think that's, why action coaches model of growth works because it's also based on general principles like like gravity and we can talk about that so um but it is down to relationship and business is becoming more relational and less transactional those businesses that are just transactional with their customers won't survive but i'm finding those you've got great relationships are, are flexible will support you in these difficult times that build that emotional bank account mm. i mean phil and i've That's always had a great relationship i can't always keep up with him but we were able to pick up <laughs> the phone after four years connect and we're off again here we go yeah and and like you're saying about some of the things that we can build in this time you know our our, our retail front might be closed our shop doors might be closed but we can still build the relationships and we can yeah. st- there, is, there are certain things that we can build now that we can't focus on those things and, and um, I like what you're saying there about you're basically building assets that you're yeah. going to rely on in the future, which might be a relationship. It might be a piece of content. It might be an extension to your unit, as those electricians have done. There's yeah. certain assets that we can all focus on now, which yeah. we'll, we'll rely on in X months time, whatever X equals. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And um, it's a great lesson for everybody. And, and the longer I, the more I coach, the more I work on the, person's identity and their ability their emotional intelligence to relate to others and to go that extra mile and care i've noticed that there already in two weeks people are caring more for each other people are reaching yeah. out around our, where we live there's people handing notices under the door if you i must look old but if you need help or any shopping do we we can help. All, all vulnerable, Andrew. You know, give it either one. All, yeah. all, all vulnerable. Let me take that one. I'm, I need a trendy <laughs> haircut and a cap. Yeah, maybe grow a beard. Look a bit more trendy. Yeah. <laughs> just, just what you were, just what you were speaking, like, touch on there, Andrew, about um, you, you know building that emotional support with your your customer base and your audience. Um, we interviewed Simon Long from Shambles Kitchen a oh, few yeah. days ago, and the video, the video that was our first video that we we posted live. And he's, um, you know, his database, his email database of seven or 800 
um, that he's gone back to, that he's now focusing on, has, has just has proved so successful in his in what he's had to pivot with his um, with his business. You know, his food business with a shop, a retail shop, and he's gone to, to you know down the delivery route. And um, yeah, he was talking about how that that's so valuable. And and Phil, you were talking to yourself about your um, your database as well that you're now you're reaching out to, and you've seen lots of support on a daily basis. So. That's um, that's very true. And what I'm what I'm curious of is, is we're interviewing um, lots of diverse people from around the world in different industries, and we're continuing to do that. We've got some some great people um, who will be coming on, um, and there's lots of amazing um, advice there. What what's the what would you if you took it down to the to the the first the, the most simplest piece of advice? For anyone who's in in a panic stage, you know they're they're at home now. Whether they they've had to um, they send all of the staffing team home, make them redundant, put them on hold. They've got kids running around that they're trying to educate and entertain. What's the one piece? What's what's the first thing you know that you that you could advise just to kind of gain some focus to move on in the best possible way? Um, you need a, you need a business and a personal cash flow. So you need to move things out of emotion into facts. And now I can help your guys, your members with free ones of those and you can book a call with me. And secondly is to don't do, don't be isolated. Reach out to someone in business you trust, whoever that is. Um, I'm happy to help any of your members, you know, book a free call. And, and I can, I can always help people, whether it's signposting or personally, or I've got a huge toolkit of materials. So sometimes just sending somebody this five phases, we're in phase one at the moment. They go, oh, I can look forwards now. And once we move yeah. people out of fear, they, they're more resourceful and they feel supported. And I, I make it, it's okay to be scared. It's normal. But what a great question to ask themselves, what can I do? It's that circle of concern and that circle of influence. What can I actually influence? What skills have I got? and my team and my connections yeah so i spoke to an insurance company this morning again similar to phil i haven't seen him for six five six years and i said i can do free online training you know it's for me the insight i got overnight was we're in this is a war so i asked myself what's what can i do for the war effort now that came to me last night so it's every day so i, I can give free social media training i can do that that's my contribution rather than how much could i charge for that yeah so i think there's two things there's where you're in the value chain there'll be there'll be ways of working where you can you can charge but maybe not the rates you did but there'll be others who can i help and give it freely and you'll be amazed what comes back so we're in a war so what can you do some some can help in food banks and and helping disable and running to i can help with knowledge free free knowledge and in business the number one cause of failure is burnout and that comes through lack of knowledge and get the knowledge you've got to get knowledge get help and get knowledge so that's uh, i mean that's absolutely perfect spot on advice um and when when you Talk about knowledge. I know you you like a good uh, a good business book. We've spoken about them many times in the past. Um, if you um, if you were if you were getting getting a book now to uh, to sort of like help um, possibly in this situation or something, what would be uh, what would be a go to for you that you've what, what would be one that you would go back to to reread? Um, I always like Michael Gerber's The E Myth, yeah. um, and Brad Sugars's book Buying Customers. Yeah. So you can look at if you can give if you so, so so a marketing cost at the moment might be giving away things free. That's a win-win. You've got to look for a win-win. Mm -hmm. So so those two right now. Yeah. What was that and, one by and, and, and have oh, have yeah. system, system sorry systems in your business. Get simple checklists. Do your thinking in your process now, so you can as you come to hire people, you can get them going. So also at the moment, there's a government digital marketing apprenticeship with a 95% grant. It's £11,000. If you've got someone on your team who's employed for 30 hours or more, you can get a 95% grant on digital marketing training over 15 months. Right. 
So it's, it's and I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing anyone interested in that um, at the end, they can, you, you can signpost them in the right direction. Yeah, I can send them to a link that has the brochure and the explanation Brilliant. where to sign up quickly, very easily. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We'll include we'll include these links on the um, on the post as well. So oh, um, you. You know, the the um, the 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 authors in the books that you've mentioned and the um, all of the, the kind of state to all the resources and government grants. That's this is this is awesome. Really, really good, Andrew. And, and what what connects with people? There's a great book called I think it's called Building Your Story Brand. And and it's what I'm finding is I. I Everybody has a story and people like stories. So what I learned from that for me recently is I, you could lay me, label me a business coach, but actually what I've realized, I'm a business guide. So you pick your mountain like Everest, whatever your Everest is, and you can go on your own or you can take a guide. Someone who's been to the top of the mountain is a bit older, if that suits me. <laughs> but has, has got access to all the latest equipment, tools, techniques, and GPS systems. To so find that guide in your life, whoever it is, reach out to them. Get over yourself. I'm talking to myself. Get over your ego and ask for help. I need some help. And people are amazingly receptive at the moment. Get help. Get someone to talk to. I, I send a WhatsApp message to all my clients every day at the moment. How's it going? Here's a tip. Here's five daily habits you must start with. Here's advice. Here's a cash flow template. Look at this. How's it? Yeah. I think it's also very relevant what you said about um, you only know what you know. Um, yeah. A number of people who I talk to who are either, like, I'm just assuming that everyone's listening to Boris every evening and they're, and they're, they're learning <laughs> these things and they're going off and trying to find them. And there's, there's so many who who aren't and they're still in that state of panic because they, they're yes. not aware of the things to tap into. And likewise myself, um, I only know what I know. And so there's things that you've been saying where I'm like, right, okay, I, I wasn't aware that I need to, yeah, let's make that phone call. Let's connect with, with that person. And so I think assumption is quite, is quite dangerous right now. You know, you, you're yes. writing, you sending out that daily WhatsApp just so that you're yes. not assuming everyone is aware and everyone knows you, yes. you've got like, putting it in front of them so and it's it's it, it shows you care mm -hmm. love is expressed in action in business there's lots of words but it's what are you doing what have you done to help to reach out to stretch to how can i help how can i support you yeah yeah and we're doing that and the brits have a great uh, um history of that we come together under crises and you are seeing that everywhere. You two guys are a great example. <laughs> Talk about action. You like turbocharged. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kids. Keep you on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You were referring to me there, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fourth kid, yeah. Yeah. Um, Andrew, just um, slightly slightly um, away from like the, the usual theme. Um, I know you're, um, you're very... You're very strong um, in in religion and faith. How are you? How is that? So, so how how's that a tool at this time for you? Well, it's it's very central to what I do. So I do I do ninety day planning sessions. I'm now doing them on Zoom, but I do what I call a secular one, uh, and then I do a one that's faith based, Christian faith based. Right. And for all my clients, um, because the ultimate coaching book I believe is the Bible. But I do work with Muslims, etc. because all the answers are actually in there. And it does say in Proverbs, above all, gain knowledge, wisdom and understanding, even if it costs you everything, worth more than rubies and diamonds. Above all, gain wisdom. So it's well, that, absolutely that, central. That should, that should just be on the wall, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so it, it, Jesus was a servant leader. So if we all had put others first before ourselves, but not at the expense of self, I think that's a great, great motto to live by. I'm certainly not perfect. But what I do every day for all my clients and, and people in my groups, I pray over them personally every day over their 90 day business goals and their prayer requests. It takes me quite a while. But that's an amazing comfort to a lot of people knowing there's another guy helps me and uh, Jeremy and Dawn. 
for business owners knowing two people are praying over them every day, mm. like really praying over them. So that, that's been amazing. So I have a part of my calling is to reach 40,000 people, which sounds ridiculous in the flesh because I get a group of five or 10, but God said now then with this crisis, you've, all of a sudden you're on zoom, you're on webinars. It, it's now limited, <coughs> So you've no excuse anymore. <laughs> But my, I have a call to be a bridge between the business world and churches. And the call I got was to, through the Holy Spirit, was to do that through, um, through Proverbs. Because Proverbs is wisdom that stands the test of time and it doesn't alienate business people. So it's, it's been a really interesting journey. It's a calling. And yeah. uh, I'd be happy to. But I coach people um, secularly if they want prayer and things and bring that aspect in i do um but i find it's very very um, aligned with my my calling my faith and my background mm. and uh the world the world is looking at itself at the moment and saying we must have got it wrong <laughs> so there is there is a better way yeah but i'm happy to talk to anybody about that there's a lot of that coming through on um on social media you know a lot of um Right. A lot of visuals. You must have seen the um, the fish and dolphins returning back to Venice, uh, to right. the waters of Venice. And yes. there's a lot of examples um, around like that. And um, there is a feeling that you know that the the earth is taking a, a bit of a breather, that it's having it's taking a rest. And um, I mean, I I get that. You know, I get that. And I, I think that's a very positive way to to look at it. Um, and there's many examples of of the uh, of of what's happening as a result of us just staying indoors for a while now. I mean, I, I saw images this morning about there was like um, fox and deers in, 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 a, in cities. So, you know, wildlife wow. coming into cities because nobody's around. Yes. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's always going to be people that it's that ha glass half empty, glass half full mentality. No matter what happens, no matter what's going on, you know, yeah. someone's always going to have a negative opinion um, about I a situation. It's interesting on, on the Christian perspective, lo love the Lord your God, but also love your neighbour as yourself. And we're seeing that, now you've pointed that out, in, in practice now, aren't we? People are more loving of their neighbours and they're feeling better for it. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's stripped away so much of the, the you know, the, um, uh, the, 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 the 21st century technology, money, growth, power, yeah. Right back to yeah. the basics, and uh, yeah, I, I had a real issue with the internet uh, spiritually because I wasn't sure about it, and I prayed over it for two years. But now, what we're seeing is through this crisis, very positive uses of the internet mm. in a huge way. Being yeah. able to communicate and reach out to others and help each other in in, in a way that I, I believe God's using. Yeah, I've actually um, experienced a number of people come through and say. Um, I've come off Facebook because I, I, I can't be doing with the negativity and all the conspiracies and the, the nonsense that's flying about. So I think at a time that we're using more of the internet and, and people are using social media in a positive way to spread positive examples, yeah. neighbours coming together and helping one or another out. Also, there are a chunk of people coming away from it because it, because of the negative side of it and, and that's I, I found that very interesting to um, to experience a number of friends and family of uh, uh, yeah. going down that route so I'm, I'm loving i'm hoping the younger generations let's say anyone under 30 or well, i'm not sure how old you go there, but. i like the way we move the younger generation don't we <laughs> 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 but if they if they can experience this sort of growing up in a digital world if they can grow up in a more relational connected world um person to person or, or or even over the you know just be more real and honest and open and vulnerable and i think that's that's going to be a good thing and we're seeing if i can say older um business owners and executives are having to learn new ways to communicate with the generation x y millennials different words it took me ages because i was trained as an accountant years ago the idea of social media took me about 10 years to get social because <laughs> it's quite a formal training so sometimes <laughs> we're products of our environment and our identity and one of the coaching tools we use is an identity iceberg which really helps you understand where you're at but 
also who you need to become. Because there's a great book by Marshall Goldsmith, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. So many people are stuck at a level and you need someone to help you change things. Yeah. It's a bit like a town, the roads become blocked, then you need to build a ring road. Yeah. So, you know, what's your, what, what do you need to, who do you need to become and what do you need to do to get you there to your next level, to survive this and thrive? Because there's massive opportunity here for collaboration and you'll be able to scale if you've got, if you develop better relationships over the next 90 days then you're going to come out of this with a team of like-minded similar values suppliers and customers and you're going to be able to scale and just never mind a million three million five million let's go for it yeah yeah this is this is certainly going to separate the the men from the boys and and um it's those who were who were invested and driven um to um to come together within teams within industries within communities yeah. um and uh, we're already seeing that ourselves um with our our, our network uh, people that we're close to you know these are testing times but you will find out who's who's side by side with you heading in the right direction um yes. what, you, what you were saying there about people learning technology i am um, in between meetings at a few minute window last night and I had a message through from a, a lady in the community who's trying to do um, yoga sessions using Zoom and, yeah. um, and she knows that you know, we use Zoom on a daily basis with our team and connecting with people and it's a really valuable tool and so I, um, I wrote a really long message to try and cover as much as possible and then steer her to other resources and then I thought well you know what why don't I just record that on video and then put it out to the the community that's, that's here that has 6,000 members. So that's what I did. I recorded what I'd written in more depth and sent it out and then, um, and, and just to try and help people as we, as we go. So um, we're all, I'm sure yourselves, we're, we're, we're always getting ideas and people coming to us and um, issues that we're spotting that we, we can solve, that we can benefit people within our communities. I think we have to be careful. There's so much information coming at us every day. We have to learn to make decisions and act. Take a decision, make a decision. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to try that. I'm going to, don't try and overanalyze and stay fearful. Just take a decision, step out, and you'll soon get feedback from the market very quickly. Mm. The market's very efficient like that, isn't it? Yeah. As you guys know. <laughs> and then it's those that can adapt to that. Don't take that as a take it as feedback feedback's okay that's how we grow it's okay it's okay to feel vulnerable okay to feel i'm stepping out but that's how we grow and and it, all over nature those with the, the ability to adapt succeed yeah yeah absolutely it's like um it's like right now it's it's many years of business education crammed down into a very short space isn't it it's sort of like go learn listen Pivot, yes. go, learn, listen. You know, it's just, yes. I mean, this usually takes years and years, but right now it's so micro. Um, yes. yes. Brilliant time but for learning. I think that's where Action Coach and Brad who set it up brilliant that he makes complex things simple and presents them in simple PowerPoints and simple concepts. You'll remember, Phil, the identity iceberg, for yeah, example. Absolutely. Yeah. Powerful tool for yeah, any, so. and I mean, I mean, I looked at that five years ago when I when I first saw it. But you still remember yeah. it. You can still still picture it, and you yeah. still refer back to it either consciously or subconsciously, yeah, because of the way it's set out and um, and, yeah. and what it's saying. So, yeah, absolutely. And the great thing about our, the way we teach is you can use it in all areas of your life and in any business. So it's not just like a mentor might give you one system for that business. Now, what you learn with the action system, you can take into any business and into your life. So that's yeah. powerful. That's growing the be and the do. Yeah. And we get to the have, whatever that is for you, and it's different for everybody. Yeah, um, well, we will wrap this up, Andrew. Um, I'm Thank sure you. this is the last time that um, we see you uh, and also our, um, our audience, our members, our followers, um, see you. You spoke about providing 11 step webinar uh, yes. and also eight free, eight free products, um, digital training. So um, 
that's going to be amazing for our audience. You know, the, again, this, the whole reason why we're doing this under these times is just to try and support and help as many right. people as possible. We, could, we can only do that with the network that we build. And, um, and it's, it's amazing to have somebody uh, like yourself of your calibre and expertise, not only on the show, but to, but to commit um, for the journey forward. So um, huge thank you, Andrew. Well, thank you. I'm learning from you guys every day. I always learn something from Phil. So, you know, it's... it's, it's <laughs> You've got no life for me, Andrew. No, don't, look, don't look this way. I just don't. <laughs> I like a good chat. I like a good chat. So you can always pick up the phone. For <laughs> thank you. Life, lifelong okay. learning. Be a student. Be a yes. student, be a servant. Every day, yeah. every day is a school day, Andrew. Um, so where can people find you, Andrew? Where, what's your, your websites, your social hooks? Yeah, if you can put it, it's Andrew Cussons, C-U-S-S-O-N-S dot actioncoach dot co dot UK. I'll send you the details over. I'm on LinkedIn. It's Andrew Cussons, like Imperial Leather. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and I'll, I'll send you some links and we'll work on <laughs> to get, get, get these products to your, to your team, people who request them and free training and stuff like that so please tell me you've got a business card that says andrew cousins like imperial leather like imperial leather oh. do you like that most people of a certain age know how to spell that i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna use that in the years to come is that in my tagline yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is your tagline that's, that's how you're going to be in, that's how you're going to be introduced in episode number number whatever when you're back on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the thing with it, yeah, oh, Jemima, you've laid another one. Yeah, we won't go into that, but yes, there was <laughs> adverts. And, yeah, yeah. Been a pleasure, guys. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, yeah, I'm sure good. everyone will get a lot out of um, the, yeah. the advice and the words that you've uh, that you've shared. And yeah, we'll. Uh, I'm sure we'll see you again very, very soon. Yeah, all Thanks the best. Much, okay, yeah, cheers. cheers. God bless. God bless. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for joining us on the Business Lockdown. Please comment, like, share and subscribe to help build our global community. We look forward to seeing you all soon.